so I have a 2014 Chevy Equinox. This one got popped in this front corner. It didn't look that bad when it came in, but it turned out hidden behind the bumper and everything. The frame rail is completely crushed. It crushed just like it's supposed to in the crush zone. They actually have a sectioning procedure on these. They have a line mark right here where it gets sectioned in at. I have the new rail here. You have to buy the whole piece. They don't sell just that front section, but luckily they do have a procedure to stub that front piece in. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one in clamps and make some pulls and rough this out. And then I will start cutting it apart. I'm going to go ahead and match the measuring system to the car so it knows where it's sitting and then I can measure the front end. Here's two points. Now we will come up here to the front and check these rails. I don't think they're very far off except for the crushed area on this one, but I want to check them anyway. I pull it. Now you see I'm a negative seven now. I was a positive eight. So you have to over pull it a little bit and then relax it and try to get it to where it equals out right where you want it. Now I've over pulled it 19 millimeters and that should get me pretty close this time. Now we're at a positive three. I'm gonna try to get just another millimeter out of it if I can. Should be good. All right, I got this one all squared up. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting it apart. I have this radiator support piece and this bracket here I gotta cut off and then I will cut my frame rail section. So GM, they have this die mark right here where the cut line is, but they actually want me to cut a quarter inch in front of that, and I'll explain why here in a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and mark that, and I'm going to make that cut all the way around one quarter inch in front of that die mark.
slightly and that creates a backer so my new piece will sit over top of it right to the line where it's supposed to be and that acts as the backer. Now I'm going to throw a measurement back on this. I have it just roughly sitting in place and it looks like I need to move it six millimeters over and out just a hair. That looks pretty damn good right there. Try to go to one more point on that front section. I want to go to at least two points on it just to verify. So it's measuring out perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put some tack welds around this just to make sure it stays exactly where I have it. I don't want to weld it solid yet. Then I'm going to go ahead and start fitting this plate on there and the rebar and everything. And then I will do the radiator support section. Looks like this bar and the plate all fits on there nicely and it all measures out perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to weld this solid and then I will attach the plate that goes on the end. This one measures out good. I'm gonna go ahead and get it welded together.
So this is 3M Cavity Wax. You take this wand and it sprays in a 360 degree spray at the end and it protects the inside of this from corroding where there might be any bare metal or it'll seep in all the seams. Always want to hose this inside of anywhere where you welded or anything like that.